tuning in today. What we're going to be doing is putting in this ceiling fan in my son's room. It's just got a light right now. Um, and when they put the uh, light in, they built the house, the uh, support that they used for the light does not support a ceiling fan. So I'm actually going to be swapping that out as well. Now I have a new construction support and the reason I'm using a new construction one is because I have full access above the ceiling. Uh, if you don't have access above the ceiling, you can actually get a replacement uh, support that is, uh, it goes in a little bit different. You can actually put the whole thing in from underneath. Um, but since I have access, I'm going with the new construction uh, and this will give me a sturdy enough support to hang my ceiling fan. Um, if you haven't already, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. If you haven't ever taken one of these down, it's pretty easy. Usually you're going to have this little uh, tip down here that will just unscrew. Now some of them support the entire glass dome on that one little nut. So make sure you're supporting this dome when you take that down. And this one is, so glad I was holding it. I usually just set my parts in the glass there, and then you'll have two screws that are holding the rest of this up. You can just loosen those. And then the whole thing, you'll see one side of that channel where the screw is screwed in there. One side of that has a, has a larger uh, hole, kind of a keyhole in it. You just rotate it so the screws are in that. You should be able to pop it off. Now my power is already off to this. Um, you'll want to make sure you disconnect power before you get started. Of course, I usually just stick my uh, wire nut right back on the other end just to be safe while I'm working on the, the project. Separate the wires, wire nut goes back on, and the ground. Uh, it may just be me, but I always take my ground one off last just to make sure everything stays grounded while I'm working on it. Yeah, forget that. And that's it. Now this, this whole piece here is going to go up through the, uh, through the opening into the attic. Um, when, I, when I go up there and uh, take that unit out so that I can put the new fan support in, in the attic. Well, let's head on up to the attic and we'll get started with that. I'm up in the attic above where we just were. I've pulled the insulation back over here. I push this piece out of the way, this uh, ductwork here, and we just got to start by clearing up, clearing our area. So careful not to cut the wire. I'm just gonna break it loose here and then this piece you can see how thin it is is just made for uh, supporting a light fixture um, it's just held in place on mine anyway with staples over to the side so I'm just gonna grab a flathead screwdriver and try to Kind of pry it out. Same thing on the other side. There we go. I just want to pull this wiring out. 
this is a new one, and you can see, if you compare the two, significant difference in how stable this one's going to be versus this one. Turns, that pops out. Now, since we're not doing new construction, we're not going to need that anymore. So, a packet of screws, and then loosen this up and this up. We're actually, this particular one, we've got these little bolts here. We'll loosen those. Didn't bring my the proper tool with me to do that, so use these wire strippers, which is unfortunate. Once you have those kind of loose, your box should be able to move like so, and this should go in and out as well. That's going to let you line that box up exactly with the opening. Um, you're going to be able to now uh, put your wire through. Knock one of those out. Put your piece in there. Your wiring will push through it. This piece has a little spike that goes under the stud, and so did the last one, so I'm hoping I can just hit that same hole. And then it has these little spikes that go into the wood. I sat on both sides. Okay. And then, you wanna add the screws that they've included here to hold it all in place. There we go. And that's all you need from the top side. Now we just need to put our insulation back. I'm on get my tools cleaned up and uh, we'll head back down into the room. All right, so now that we have the attic piece done, the next part is we need to open up this fan and start our packing material and all of that. If, uh, obviously if you don't get this model fan, uh, the next part of this process is going to be a little different for you. Um, but, generally speaking, you're going to want to find your mounting bracket. For me, right here. Just, that's that's what's going to screw up to the uh, to the mounting box that we just put up um, in the ceiling. So uh, we'll get this fastened to that, um, and then we'll be able to start mounting <coughs> uh, the fan parts. Now, to get this mounted, uh, if you have a flat ceiling, it doesn't matter which way this goes. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're not obstructing the wires in any way, and then it'll just screw down. Now, one thing that I forgot to do that I need to do first is I need to tighten up this bracket to the support piece. Uh, if you remember, I loosened it up so that I could align it with the hole that was there, and now I just need to tighten everything back up. Loosen these. 
This is what's going to hold the fan on. there is that I had another one that I put in that actually wouldn't, this, one of these screws would not go back into the hole after I took it out. And I uh, was hoping I could just avoid taking it out altogether. That's nice and sturdy. That's what's going to hold up my fan. This fan actually comes with a shorter down rod, which is what I want to use because I want this to be as close to the ceiling as I can get it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and swap that out. And to do that, loosen this screw here. I actually need to take it all the way out. Pop that out. This piece comes apart. This plastic piece drops down. The rod actually fell down. Down here, that rod came out. And you want to take out this grounding screw. And then basically just transfer everything over to the new one. Like so. And then your plastic piece goes up here. Your rod goes through the middle. And that whole thing sits down. Make sure you have it lined up right. <clears throat> that whole piece will sit down inside of that. And then that original screw that you took out screws back in right where it came from. that <clears throat> shorter rod means it'll be closer to the ceiling. To assemble this fan we're going to start with these uh, brackets here. These are the blade brackets. And they're going to mount to this piece like so. We'll just work our way around. They give you screws. Every bag has a little indicator design on it that corresponds with the instructions for where those go. assembly screws that we need to put on. I just have the three lines to come through them. So there's five total. We need two of them right here to start with. Doesn't matter which which hole you screw them into. 
just want to get them started. Got a hole there, a hole here, and a hole here. So you want to get two of those in. And then you're going to take your light kit. And this is this is the most impossible part of this entire project is getting this light kit mounted. They give you no room in here to manipulate anything and you gotta you gotta get this pushed up through here and then get it mounted. You gotta screw these down to the uh, to the fan. So basically two of the holes in here should have like a, a, a keyhole, kind of like uh, we saw uh, when we mounted the, the fan bracket. And then the other one does not. So basically you got to line up the screws that you just put in partially with the keyholes. which is nearly impossible in and of itself. your third screw in to lock it into place. To me, that is the shoddiest design I think that I have ever seen on a fan. It is absolutely ridiculous trying to get this all coordinated and uh, held in place and wires pushed back and all of that to try to get this last screw in here. Got it. hold that in place. Now, got to get all of this shoved back down in here somehow. Um, and then these two connectors here connect together. side, black and red, black and red, and line those up, and then it snaps together. That's horrible. It's horrible. Why, why do you have all of this room that you could have used? Why jam everything into that? I don't know. But, now, we take our cover plate. We're going to use our last two screws to uh, 
to get that mounted down. Okay. Now your wires will feed through the down rod that we used earlier. Make sure you put them all through uh, one side of your on one side of that rod, the separating rod going through there. And off the side here, got a set screw. So you want to screw this down. So now that we have the rod mounted to the fan assembly, go ahead and set it into the bracket. Oh, forgot one thing. I forgot. Maybe. It covers all of this up and makes it pretty here. strip them. Take a look at the uh, pre-stripped ones, the, the ground wires come pre-stripped and that'll tell you about how much of the wire uh, you want to strip off of there. Alright, uh, your black, we'll go to the black, and your blue. Now, I'm running mine off of a single switch, so to turn the light on or to adjust the speed of the fan, I'll actually have to pull the cable. Uh, if you have two switches on your wall, you're going to use that. You're going to do this slightly different. But uh, for my use, uh, the blue and the black are both going to connect to the black house power. And then the whites will tie together. And all the wires just shove back up in there. And we can mount our canopy. When we lift the canopy into place, we want to make sure the triangle in the base of the canopy matches the triangle. Aligns, I guess I should say, aligns with the triangle. Uh, for the down rod, um, just to make sure the canopy goes all the way up like it should. All right, next up is the fan blades. It's going to take a lot of screws. A lot of washers. Grab a screw and a washer, and the the posts that are on the top side of these actually fit up into the fan blade, so it'll kind of hold it in place. So basically, all you've got to do is support the support the end of it and hand tighten one of those screws down.
to make sure all of these are tightened up. Okay, I've got five blades, so I've done two of them. And I'm just going to go one at a time. This particular fan actually comes with, uh, on the pull, it has a picture of a light and the other one has a picture of the fan. So I want to make sure that my light one goes on the light side. Like so. And the fan one will go on the fan side. Like so. And then your dome, uh, there's some tabs inside here that will correlate to some openings on your dome. Inside, inside there, inside those tabs, and then you rotate it clockwise till it snaps into place. Now, light, turn the fan on, and check our work. All right, that takes care of uh, installation for that ceiling fan. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video if it helped you out, and I hope to see you around again real soon. Thanks a lot.